Hey, welcome, 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 family, friends, uh, coaches, uh, everyone that's out there. This is a little different than what we're used to doing uh, in regards to our award ceremony. Um, when I woke up this morning, I said, oh man, I gotta, I'm better in front of people and not a camera. So uh, bear with me. Uh, we're gonna get through this and we'll get through it together. And I uh, hope you uh, enjoy uh, the awards. And uh, yeah, so, but before we get started, what I like to do is uh, let's, let's have a word of prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we, we come to you on this morning, Lord God. We thank you uh, for your grace. We thank you for uh, your mercy, Lord God. We just uh, thank you, uh, even in the midst of uh, uh, this 2020 season of uh, COVID-19. It's changed our lives. It's changed the way we do things, Lord God. But what hasn't changed is you, Lord God. So we just say uh, thank you uh, as we adjust to uh, norm. Um, we, we, we ask for um, patience and uh, peace, Lord God. So we love you. We honor you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, uh, girls, this has been a crazy year. Fun, uh, but crazy. And I understand that things have, uh, I'm glad we were able to get through our basketball season uh, before uh, all this went down. So I'm glad you girls were able to finish that. But uh, definitely want to keep those in, in, in prayer that could not uh, see their senior season of whatever sport that they they played after uh, the fall season, going into the spring and, and now summer. So uh, I hope you girls are active. I hope you're having, you know, enjoying this time with your family. Um, but for the most part, we had a great season. We had a great season. Uh, we had some ups, we had some downs, we had some more ups and we had some more downs. But more importantly, we, uh, we, we finished the season and I believe, what I believe, is that you girls finished the season strong, all right? You made it to the NCS. I told you girls that there was four parts of the season. There's uh, preseason, uh, then there's regular season, and then we have the league tournament, and then we have NCS. Um, and one thing that I want you girls to understand is, you know, we went to the NCS uh, with the, uh, by playing the number one seed. Uh, I wanted you girls to see what that talent looks like uh, in that number one spot. And you girls were able to do that. And I hope you're putting together uh, some things over this summer and you're just not hanging out and uh, 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 on social media and just kind of not doing anything. But this is the time, if you're really serious, I believe uh, this upcoming season, we can win it all. So uh, enjoy this time. Um, while you, while you can with your family. Uh, I'd like to go ahead and start off with a couple of uh, certificates uh, as far as our team goes. And I'm going to try and say something nice <laughs> about all of you. No, it's, uh, it's nothing but nice things to say uh, um, about you girls. You girls have been uh, a joy to coach, to teach, uh, to watch grow. And so uh, I really appreciate your hard work, uh, your dedication, your motivation uh, by going through a season. We, we had a very, very long season, uh, especially in the beginning. Uh, you girls uh, probably didn't understand, but we played a lot of tough teams early in the season. And uh, we, 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 we fought and we fought. So I'm super proud uh, of the achievement, achievement from you girls. So without that, with, Anything else being said, I'd like to go ahead and present um, this young lady uh, has definitely come in. Uh, she's accepted uh, the responsibility. Um, and there was a lot riding on her shoulders as a freshman. And we asked her to do a whole lot of things. Uh, it, every, playing varsity basketball, it's, it's, it's new. It's, it's a little different. And she took it. She did what she could. She gave us uh, her work ethic, um, her heart. And uh, I just want to say um, congratulations um, to Alexis Butler. Uh, you keep working hard, young lady, and you will achieve your goal. You're young. You have a whole uh, lot of time 
to uh, uh, improve and get better. And I know uh, this year we asked a lot of you from a freshman, and I know there were some times that you didn't like me or you got mad at me, but hey, that's what us coaches are supposed to do. We're supposed to push, push, push to make you better. So um, great job this year, and uh, we appreciate your effort. Um, this young lady, I am truly, truly grateful for and thankful for um, just throughout the four years of coaching her. Uh, she hung in there. This is uh, one of our seniors. Um, I know for a fact, uh, and, I, and I would tell this to the team, I, this young lady will run through a brick wall uh, for her coach, and I know it because I've seen it, and I really appreciated her hard work and her dedication uh, from over the years of getting better and improving. And, and I just thank God uh, for her life. I thank God for her um, uh, just being who she is. And uh, that's Miss April Davis, AD. What's up, AD? Hey, congratulations. Um, I know this wasn't the senior year uh, we wanted, but you showed a lot by continuing to show up. Uh, a lot of people won't do that, you know, and you came around and, and you helped out when you could. And I know it was hard uh, of not being able to get on that floor and uh, help your teammates because I know your work ethic and I know your heart. So um, congratulations and uh, many blessings to you. All right. Um, this young lady right here. There wasn't a task that you could not ask her to do. She would go out. She would give it her best. Uh, she would do uh, the small things that, that a lot of players won't do. Uh, she kind of reminded me of myself a little bit. Uh, aggressive um, and just uh, out there just to go get it and, and wanting to win. And with her heart, uh, with her, her work ethic, the, the desire of, of just wanting to be out there on the basketball court, uh, I can really, really appreciate that. And uh, I'll never forget that tall tree that got taken down up in the Redwoods. So y'all know who I'm talking about. And we talking about KD, Miss Kenzie. Thank you. Thank you so much, baby girl, uh, for all the hard work you put in and all that you do. Um, it has been a joy watching you play and mature. And I know for a fact you are working on your game uh, because we're going to have one heck of a senior season for you. So keep working, all right? Um, this young lady, she came in, and I'll never forget. Uh, there was a there there was a time uh, where she would for break. She would come in, and she'd all, she was always eating hot chips. And then we had a discussion, and I told her about those hot chips, and I, I explained to her how bad they were gonna tear up her inside. Uh, lining of her stomach and all that good stuff. And I thought um, that she was just going to brush me off and, and not really uh, worry about it. But uh, a week later, I saw her with some uh, Cheez-Its. And um, I asked her, I said, where's your hot chips? And she said, well, Coach, you said don't, don't, don't eat them no more, so I stopped eating them. It's been about a week. And then I just started cracking up laughing. And uh, you just never know. Um, the things you say when, when, when kids are actually listening. And she listened, and I told her, I said, hey, since you did that, you need to come out for the basketball team. And uh, sure enough, she never played uh, a day in her life, and she expressed that. I know when we first started, she had on uh, little nails um, on her fingers and told her, well, we're definitely going to have to cut those. But I really appreciate her hard work, her work ethic, um, just uh, her willingness to learn the game of basketball. And uh, that's none other than Miss Emily Rodriguez. All right, Emily, good job. I hope to see you back here uh, next year. All right. Um, this young lady, wow, I never forget. Uh, there was, a, there was a, a time where we had 14, maybe 15 girls on the basketball team uh, a few years ago. And I had five freshmen, and she was one of them. And uh, as, we were, as we were substituting, 
I had the freshman playing one quarter. We were up, uh, I can't remember by how much, but I ended up doing the freshmen's on one group, uh, the, the underclassmen, the second group, and then the, the seniors, uh, the next group. And uh, that's how we competed. And, and they, they hung in there. And uh, she came in, she did not know how to play basketball, but let me tell you, she learned quick. Okay, she, she, she knew what she could do, she knew uh, what she can't do. And one thing that she could do is she could shoot. And uh, Miss April Fuller, thank you for your hard work, your dedication uh, over the four years. And, and I thank you all, you are, uh, you and April Davis, you guys are part of the reason why, I, why I'm still here. Because I said I was gonna coach you girls until you girls graduated. And I'll never forget, you guys would not let me retire after the one year. So I really appreciate your hard work, uh, your work ethic, and uh, good luck in your next endeavors. All right, congrats. All right, we are moving down the line. I've been talking, gotta get me a little water. All right, so. Thank you for bearing with me. This, this young lady, uh, man, when you ask someone to do something, they do it and then they do it almost to wanting to do it in perfection. And uh, this young lady has definitely, definitely, she's given her heart, she's given her passion, she's given uh, every fiber of her being that want to be better and do better. Um, very coachable. Uh, I tell her all the time, you know, and sometimes she can grab the whistle because she thinks like a coach. But uh, she has definitely been a joy to watch uh, play these last few years. I never forget, I used to tell her when she was playing junior high that I cannot wait until you are on varsity. And so now uh, she's here. She's been a phenomenon. Um, she's been uh, she had uh, a season where she she had to have surgery, and y'all know who I'm talking about. She was ready to come back on the court the next day after surgery, and and, and uh, unfortunately we couldn't do that um, because we, you know, we couldn't have her get injured. But she was ready to come back, and when she came back, she made a force. Uh, there was a lot of times that she would be down in the paint, uh, banging up everybody. And uh, I just love the way she plays the game. She plays it with passion, and she, and she plays it with a smile. So y'all know who I'm talking about, Miss Mad Dog Maddie Heyer. Congrats, young lady. And again, I look forward to, to, to being able to coach you uh, for a couple more years. So uh, I hope you're working out. We're going to get that footwork together. And uh, I definitely, definitely think you can average a double-double. All right, all right. This young lady, uh, one of my, one of my freshmen. Um, another reason that I may have to stay here another four more years, if they have me. But uh, uh, I, I definitely, definitely enjoy coaching her. Um, she's a little bit different uh, in PE at nine in the mo uh, eight in the morning versus uh, the afternoon for uh, basketball practice, but. She has two gears. It's either fast or slow. And most of the time, she's in that fast gear. And, and I can't wait to see the type of player you're going to be uh, in, in the seasons to come with your work ethic and uh, your attitude and your desire to, and willingness to work hard. And that's Miss Abigail Johnson. Congratulations, Abby. Can't wait to get you all back out there. All right, this young lady is has been a joy to watch she has been um the voice so to speak of the team and uh she, when 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 she speaks you know she's speaking but i love i love her passion i love her hard work uh her her work ethic um definitely someone uh who can develop and become one heck of a player and uh she Definitely got through this season um, with some health, 
things going on, but, but we, we pulled it together and uh, she was there. This is one person where I will tell you she is diving on the floor wherever that ball is. And you better watch out because she's aggressive. Uh, and that's no, none other than our very own Bria Lewis. Bri, good job this year. Um, I can't wait, uh, hopefully, to get, get you guys, get your freshman group back out there. Um, you girls were something special. Uh, and that's a great segue to talk about this other young lady. Um, she's seen her play, been here f almost seven years. So I started with her and Lexi. Um, they were like the dy dynamic duel. And so uh, when I used to watch them play, they would get after it um, and they would just compete. And this young lady right here, I could put her on anybody and just say, guard this person and don't worry about it. Don't worry about uh, no one else on the court. Just stick with them. And she would be that, that, uh, that pest that just kind of just get on your nerves. And I saw it. And she, and she would do that every single game. And then also, there was, there's, there's no time you can't pass her the ball that she wasn't going to shoot. We all know who that is, and that's JP3. Miss Jada, Jada, congratulations um, on a job well done this year. Uh, definitely can't wait to see you again next year and see what you can uh, uh, bring, bring out. All right, so congrats. Um, this young lady here, another one, another one, another feisty uh, uh, player. Uh, who has taken on a role in the position of something that uh, she has not done in a long time. And she's, uh, she's, she's grabbed it, she ran with it, and there were some times where, you know, she was doubting herself, but over time, confidence brought her back to where she needed to be. And she would play point guard, which she's never played before, and that's big when you have someone who's never played point guard take on that position. And so she did so, learning plays, um, being one of the vocal uh, teammates on the court. And that's uh, Sam, I am Madrigal. Sam, congrats, congrats, Sammy. Can't wait to see you again. And I know you guys are out. I saw you and your family walking uh, uh, the dog the other day. Um, I couldn't stop, but I still want to say hello but uh, congratulations. Last but not least, this young lady. And we know that she has been asked to do something as well, play a position uh, that she wasn't used to, but she, again, we have to make adjustments with the players that we have. And so she accepted her role of uh, holding down the fort uh, in the middle. and. Uh, <laughs> That she did, and everybody know how many times we've had to uh, pull her out because we get a couple fouls and just a smile on her face. Uh, some, sometimes I didn't think it was a foul, but the referee did. But one thing I did know, she was not letting you in the middle. And uh, I would really, really say thank you uh, to Miss Rachel Wentz. You have did an awesome, awesome job uh, this year and holding it down, and I can't wait to get you girls to come back. Uh, the good thing, um, the bad thing about this season is, of course, every year you're going to lose players because of uh, their seniors. But we have an opportunity that we can get all the girls back uh, this year, and then we can also get some additional players this year, and uh, we are going to look really good. As soon as we can get back in the gym, I'm looking to let you girls back in. As soon as Mr. Hire say it's all right, we are back in the gym. Shoot machine, uh, if we got to do it in groups of two, uh, we're going to do it. But we're going to get some personal, uh, you girls are going to get some personal workouts in. All right? And uh, definitely appreciate that. All right. On to uh, the team awards. The team awards. I want to go ahead with uh, the team awards. Uh, you girls, I would like to say you girls did an awesome job. And this is probably the hardest part 
of uh, giving out team awards, but uh, this was your voice. You girls, uh, this was the way you girls uh, voted. And um, as coaches, we were able to overlook it and take, and, and take note of it. And I think you girls did an awesome job. I think you did an awesome job with choosing um, who your teammates were and what they did this year. All right, so um, I'd like to start off with the most improved player of the year. And this young lady, again, when I tell you she did not know how to do a layup when she first came, she did not know, she didn't know how to shoot. Um, she didn't know anything about basketball. But over time, she improved and got really good and aggressive. That's one thing she, we didn't see in the beginning, but she would get aggressive with you. Um, and I never forget, uh, we were shooting jump shots and the first, we, would, we, would, we had this drill where we would uh, get jump shots um, right by the free throw line. And uh, she, would, she would not nail that jump shot. Sometimes she would shoot and it wouldn't just get there. And I never forget, I went to try to block her shot. And I'm not playing, I was literally trying to block her shot. I was going to put it back in her face, but she got that ball over my head and over my outstretched arm. And the girls, you remember this, that ball went into the basket. And I think that was one of the best, uh, best highlights of our season practice is, is watching Miss Emily Rodriguez score a basket. All right, so Emily, awesome job, awesome job, and just keep up the good work. All right, young lady? All right, all right, this next young lady, um, this next young lady, um, I'm going to, I'm gonna do two and one. So I'll just give it away. This young lady was voted for two awards, okay? Um, and I agree, this girl has showed um, consistency, she showed um, heart, desire, uh, just the willingness to learn. Uh, she took on the position of being um, captain. Uh, and I know it's hard, and I know it's hard for her uh, because of uh, who she is and who her lineage is. So, uh, but this is, this is no gimmick, this is, this is just her being who she is, and that is um, Maddie Heyer. And she's got Defensive Player of the Year, and she's got the Most Heart Award, all right? I can put this girl on anybody, whether it's a guard, whether it's a big person, but she would defend that paint like none other, and she would not allow anybody to get a rebound over her. Uh, I can't tell you the amount of times that she got the most hard award because, and I agree, there was times where she just did not want to come out of the game because she just wanted to give it her all and play as much as she can. It was sometimes I'd just have to yank her off the court, but that's how she is. And, and she would go after it. She would, she would get aggressive. She would get, do it with a smile, uh, but she meant business. And uh, over time, she is going to uh, end up as one of the best players in this league. I can guarantee you that. Um, so Maddie, thank you so much for your hard work and your dedication. And uh, we appreciate you and your teammates appreciate you. All right, now this award, um, again, is um, this young lady was a freshman coming in. Um, she took on uh, assignments that, you know, we, we asked as coaches, we asked a lot of her. And then I had to think back of when I was a freshman, um, the pressure that she was feeling. Uh, but more importantly, uh, when she went out and played, she played with passion. Uh, she played hard. Um, there was some times where I just, I just wish we could have had a little bit more uh, time on the court because time that comes with experience. And so as she grows, she's going to be one 
heck of a player. She's already uh, been voted top player of this team. But uh, Lexi, you are the MVP. Young lady, congrats, congrats, congrats. Um, we are going to uh, work more, work harder, and uh, we're going to see to you that you know what your dreams are, you know what you want to do after high school, and uh, we're going to work hard and make sure you get there. All right? Good job, ladies. Um, last but not least, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll do uh, some of you girls were, were voted by the league. Um, as far as uh, all league and things like that. And so first up, um, I want to go ahead and give to, she made honorable mention uh, in the league, and that's the SSBL, Small School Bridge League. The coaches knew who you were, and they thought that you did a remarkable job. So honorable mention, we got a plaque for you. And that is Miss Rachel Wentz. Good job, Rachel. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So you'll get both of these. I don't know how we're going to get them to you, but we'll get them to you, all right? Congratulations, young lady. Um, also, I've said enough about these two players, and uh, I'll just go ahead and show you uh, who they are. Uh, the league also uh, saw fit that um, Maddie Heyer, you were voted to second team. You were second team. Awesome job. So you'll get both of these as well. Congratulations. You're collecting some hardware, young lady. Hope you got a spot for it. Um, last but not least, there was many times where coaches thought you were my daughter. And I would say, yeah, she is. And they've always said what kind of player you were and how good of a player you could be. So continue to work hard, work hard, work hard. We as coaches, we're going to continue to push you. All right? So don't get discouraged. Just know we're here to help. And you girls understand that Miss Alexis Butler. All right, congratulations. You got second team as well. Congratulations, congratulations. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up. Uh, this award ceremony. I uh, hope I didn't bore you too much, uh, but I am definitely, definitely anxious to get back in this gym, um, back in this school. Uh, you definitely miss being here and seeing you girls' faces. So uh, without any other things, I'd like to say I love you. Peace and blessings to your household. And uh, from Coach Edwards, we love you. Praying for you.